Amadou, they spoke in poets. <laughs> One, two, I'm the dot 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 dot. Sorry if I confused you earlier, cause I'm not a sacred deal no manifest. But this piece is entitled Success Will Manifest. I'm a dumb, the spoken poet. Like the tortoise, success is achieved by carefully taking steps. Your first step was in the kindergarten, but now, look, you are here. Your being alive here is a complete life, stage by stage. Each and every act of yours spouts your records page by page. Mostly do we say, I'm a mere mortal, yes. You are a mere mortal, but with God, you can combat every sage. Just be swift and smart to his instruction, but not as impulsive as Johnny Cage, don't get caged. Remember him from the 1990s at a younger age? Indeed, the combos of life might be at your disposal, but not every action is supposed to be taken or be engaged. Don't tell me all die, we die. You can ask President now whether I lie. I believe life is like an album that contains at least a fine track, because we depend on the strings you plug and the goals you mark. So I say, when you are diligent to your pace, you suck, says will manifest, but you really suck if money always comes first. Some say, Life is a race that the fastest man needs to conquer the track. Ask yourself, if life was supposed to be a smooth sail, why then there is a tempest with lightning, tender and bold? It's because it's only you saying to set your mark with the race and at the end success will surely manifest. There are at least seven billion records that proves one can genuinely flourish under God's grace. Some say life is a race, mostly a battle race. Some even say life is a game, but even so, when you play your cast world, God can be your ace. Just like my name, Adam Chris, the stronger the foundation you stress is eliminated one by one. Chris will make you win the race. Even in the game of life, God will continue to be your ace. <laughs> it is true that those of us, us, those of, uh, those, those of us around us may be affluent to live mostly to party, but remember, the things you do for life, the things you do for life can follow you to the next stage of your life. So remember, one man, one life. Jolo. I said Jolo. You can ask Ajete, he needed to push up because in this life, it's either you are pushed or you are the pusher. I believe in life, you may whether to complete the task or get overconfidence and be knocked off your mark by your own end game. To reach the 11th hour, the 10th round will define your stance, so I urge you. When you're on a success platform, stay put, stay focused by tuning to the right frequency, and at the end, success will surely manifest. Listen, in life, when you don't seize the time, you lose everything. So listen, Kapi the The saddest thing in life is to wish you can run back in time whenever you flash back those moments all in a second. Remember, those moments you couldn't seize all the time, and time went astray. Time loss is torn in the fabric of time, and it is irreplaceable. So I urge you, seize the time, and at the end, success will surely manifest. I believe if life is an album, yours will be the highest. Even as I stand before you, my success story is here to be manifested. So I leave you with M dot 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 T dot. I'm close. It's working. You know what? When I give you this OK sign twice, I want you to respond. Case close, okay? Let's start from those afar. When you see me giving the um, OK sign twice, respond by saying case close, will you? Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, let's do it again. Those in front. Okay. Reminiscing on the future. Reminiscing on what the future will unfold. The number of times I wanted to rise on my toes, knowing for the fact that I missed the fall, but backing down was never that close. Ten thousand times one before, but I hate you. Be that angel, wing out your mantle, and never choose to lose. I believe to everything under the sun there is a season, so I quickly reason not to debunk any of my bows. And even if my ambitions burn, I'll be like the phoenix and speedily rise from my ashes, cause I believe I can be bright like Rose. Jack, 
I will never debunk any of my ambitions. So I said to my fears and doubts, you can no longer drive me. I'm too fantastic for you. Your van is doomed. Case closed. Listen, thanks be to all my mentors, just like Tonto. Oh, you have been so sweet and relieved. You taught me how to believe in myself as long as I live. I acknowledge you, Sapa, dear, manifest, can be clear, Mr. OK, Kofi Kinata, for giving me this fool or this desire to thrive. And not forgetting Captain Basin, Sela, my mom, Vida, my greatest motivator ever. This words are to keep them alive forever. William Wordsworth, eh, the beacon to my poetry. Thanks for making my words worth to hit this road and not just being a passenger bus. I did this light before I bend low. I love what I do and I'll never let it go. Listen. It is true that your living standard is as low as Ghana's GDP because it has been the same and timeless like the GTP. But remember, nothing is permanent. All your problems may vanish tomorrow or the next. That is able. Just like my friend Joaquin said in his album, this able. But until you get to the crossroads of success and backing down, the strife in life can even make you feel. But remember, Obin Yawayati, Obin is just losing po, and you tell your fears and doubts. Listen, I believe each and every one can be the best version of him or herself. That is a fact. You can ask Tanya West just like CR7 never showed mercy in remaining the world best. It is true perseverance and the fact that she never backs down. So I urge you, give a definition to what you do. I say mind is spoken word poetry. What about you? Get to your one corner, your stupid go Start with what you're great at. And when fears and doubts crept in, say that I don't, this book said so, that you can no longer drive me. Hi, good evening. I'm Aziza and... I'm Adam, the spoken poet. Okay. So let me also ask you this question. Who is Adam? Adam, Adam, Adam. I mean, it's a question that I've never thought of before, but Adam is someone who believes in creativity and he believes that even though you have the skills, you need to like equip it. So I believe in creativity that is equipped. And I believe Adam is a person who believes that definitely when you put in more effort, you will succeed in whatever you want to do. So what drew you into the point of that? Okay, I grew I grew up being um, a lover of art. I grew up painting, drawing. I realized that. I'm in love with poetry because because um, I love poetry from the kindergarten. But when I got to JHS2, I said I can develop my art far far better. So JHS3, I started writing poems. I, um, SS, I said like I developed my art, and when I got to the university, I realized that I can make it more urban than always just writing it. So I converted from um, just writing poems and grew to spoken word poetry which I say spoken word poetry because at first I was doing when I converted from poetry to spoken word I was so much into the spoken word that I forgot my basis the basis that makes Adam different from the other art so I then um, um, returned back to my poetry and tried to be bring a, um, bridge a gap between the poetry and the spoken word so from 2015, I started branding myself as a spoken poet and break between spoken poetry and spoken word. So is it your first time performing at the Philippines? Yeah, it's my first time. The, um, the first one they did, I was in here, I was on campus. Right now, I've completed, I'm doing my service. So whenever I, I hear of Cupid on Toad, I'll also be here. Let me be a little bit. I completed Kane Westy with a Bachelor of Arts in English. Okay. So how do you feel after performing today? How do you feel? How, do, how will you rate your performance today? Okay, um, I would say 8 over 10. Is it because, because, maybe I don't know how to do it. Are you rating yourself high because you think you are too good? Mm, no, the 8 over um, then I won't call myself too good for that because as I said earlier I believe in having the talent and I believe in equipping the talent as well it's because of poetry that I studied English so if I have the talent and I've bettered myself in what I, I'm doing I think I can consider myself to be a better artist 
Any other? Yes, I'm working on an album right now, assistance. I have performed on so many stages in Kumasi and in Accra. I have a single that was released on the 31st, uh, titled A Prophet C. And I've been um, played on Radio Max, YFM, Empire, and um, Connect FM. Yes, these are the FM that I've been playing. So let me on. cut you Can you give us a gist about the, uh, the one you're talking about? Prophecy. Yes. Okay. Prophecy um, was inspired by the uprising of prophets, prophecies here and there. I was kind of like pathetic. Like, how is it that every day there is prophecy in the prophecy in the, And these prophecies only centers on the, the, the higher profiles, not the ordinary men. So, why is it that these prophecies always talking about them? Are we less important? That was my headache. And prophecies has really um, engulfed in Africa and particularly Ghana here that without prophecies, people are refusing to move on. So, that was the main um, idea behind the piece. So now there are people looking up to you. What are your advice? What do you tell them, especially the youth and those involved in the fighting industry? Okay. I would say that with resistance, you will definitely reach high. And I believe that even though you have the talent, always learn to improve on your way. You might feel comfortable now that you think you are doing good, but a year will come, years will pass on, and you realize that you have been better than now if you only try improving. So I, I will say to each and every um, point out there that whatever you're doing right now, even though you think you are good, people rating you that, rating you to be a, let's say, 8 over 10 performer, believe that you can be 10 over 10 performer. I rated myself 8 over 10 because I'm from Tadi here, but this is my first time performing on a stage in Tadi. So, you see the connection, the feeling will be as your comfort zone. Uh -huh. So, I believe each and, every, each and every person can be the best version of him or herself. So, I will also rate you. Should I rate you? Rate me. Okay, I think I'll give you... 9.5 Wow. Yes. Because I really enjoyed your performance. And I'm really flattered. Thank you. So your last advice to Ghanaians, the whole of Ghana, what do you tell them? What should they expect from Aldo? Okay. I'm a person with a vision. I'm a person with, um, with a mentality that I don't want to work for the government for long. So, I've invested my all, my time and everything in my act. I believe that poetry is what will give me my uh, finance. So I'm advising each and every one of you, what you are good at, don't put it on hold. Don't be um, with the intention that you're waiting for someone to employ you. Employ yourself. Or you're waiting for the government to employ you. Help the government by employing yourself. So I believe if you do that, you have such a mentality, definitely you go, um, you grow better as a human. And your mentality can never be like shake. Sorry, can never be shook when there is any, uh, let's say, a downfall of the economy, a downfall in the economy, or something like that. Thank you.